What about um, if somebody in the room had music they wanted to put into one of your movies? Would the would, do you listen to music to constantly them? all day long? You know, so they like, can send it to you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I say yeah. send it to him first. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Uh, you know, we listen to music all day long, and again, like I said, you know, many of the films that we're doing, in fact, we, most films now, the music budgets are, are a pittance compared to what they used to be in days past. So everybody's looking for, you know, what we call like kind of breaking bands, bands that are, are unheard so far, in other words, you know, cheap. So, uh, you know, we're always on the lookout for somebody that has a, a fresh take on, on what they can do, something that will really work on, on our films and stuff like that. And, and every music supervisor worth our salt will want to be you know, the first person out with, you know, mm. a discovery like that. You know, we're, we're actually, there's, there was a big article in Billboard recently that uh, film and television is the new radio because, huh. you know, uh, radio is so rapidly vanishing, record stores are vanishing, um, and the way that bands are being broken these days is not through spins because, you know, Clear Channel owns all the stations and so they've got pretty set uh, playlists. So the only way people hear new music is by watching even things like the OC and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They're talking about that's how bands are really broken these days. So you know, every music supervisor wants to be responsible for you know breaking like a, a, you know a band hmm. um, like the OC does at times. You must have a lot of publishers sending you stuff. Right? Constantly. Do you send out notices to them about what you're looking for? Don't need to. So they just constantly flood you with things. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if if a publisher is doing their job or a label is doing their job, they're going to read the trades. They're going to see what pictures are in production. They're going to find out who the music supervisor is. They're going to kind of figure out for themselves what music is needed, um, and then kind of taper it for that. And they'll know, like, you know, oh, okay, Joel, you're working on Tyler Perry's next movie, so you need obviously songwriters. And so they'll they'll basically know mm -hmm. what what we're looking for. Um, it, it's it's a waste of my time to go out there and, and kind mm -hmm. of like put a, a broadcast out there. I might go to certain of the people that I. I I really trust mm -hmm. and they say what do you've got mm -hmm. I need something like this if I'm not getting what I want because I, I can't necessarily always be passive about it mm -hmm. so but uh, uh, the the outreach that I make is going to be to really specific people that I know have exactly what I need